Planetary nebulas are among the most beautiful of astronomical objects, and for me, they're especially interesting because they were the subject of my PhD research at Manchester University many years ago. But they've nothing at all to do with planets. Their name goes back to the 18th century because their rounded shapes make them look like planets when seen through small telescopes. In fact, planetary nebulas are glowing shells of ionized gas thrown off by stars that have between about one and eight times the mass of the sun. A star like this eventually swells up to become a red giant and then sheds its entire outer atmosphere into space, leaving behind only the inert core, a hot white dwarf. The gas from the escaped atmosphere forms an expanding shell and glows due to the fact that it absorbs ultraviolet radiation from the central star and then re-emits it at visible wavelengths. The various colours, reds, yellows, greens and blues seen in planetary nebulas are due to emission at specific wavelengths from ions of various elements such as hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen as they recombine. Planetary nebulas last for only a few tens of thousands of years before the gas in them spreads out too thinly for them to be visible anymore. That's a very short time in astronomical terms and explains why planetary nebulas are comparatively rare. Only about 3,000 of them are known in the entire Milky Way galaxy, which contains hundreds of billions of stars. Roughly a fifth of planetary nebulas are spherically symmetric. The rest come in a great variety of often complex forms, although the exact mechanisms that give rise to the many different shapes aren't well understood. Various factors may be at work in determining a planetary nebula's particular form. These could include, for instance, the gravitational effect of a companion star if the central star is part of a binary system or interactions with any planets as the gas began its outward flow. More massive stars, it's been found, tend to produce more irregularly shaped nebulas. And in 2005, astronomers announced the detection of magnetic fields around two central stars, which could also have a strong effect on a nebula's morphology. The gas released back into space as planetary nebulas plays an important role in the chemical evolution of our galaxy. Enriched in elements such as carbon and oxygen formed in the interior of red giants, it joins the raw material in interstellar clouds from which a new generation of stars and planets will be made. It's expected that the Sun will eventually form a planetary nebula when it reaches the end of its life cycle, but rest easy. That fate lies several billion years in the future.